Today we're gonna do one of my family favorites. I was born in Brooklyn, New York, and I'm Italian, and sausage, peppers, and onions is something that we have had countless, countless weekends uh, while growing up, and even now, and my family just absolutely loves it. So some of the ingredients that you'll need to buy would be some peppers, and you guys don't know this about me, but I can't stand green peppers, so I always buy just red, orange, and yellow peppers, and then of course, I always go with yellow sweet onions. And in previous episodes, you've seen me dice them. And then today, what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna julienne it. And I'll show you how to do that, and then I'll show you how I cut up a pepper as well. Uh, but basically, what we need to do is just get some oil. And again, I would go with a canola oil or maybe a grapeseed oil, just because the smoke point's a little bit higher. But get, uh, get your stove going. Maybe. There we go. Sometimes technology doesn't work the way we want it to. Anyway, got your oil. And then I've got in this here, I've got some garlic powder, kosher salt, black pepper, and some Italian herbs. Uh, doesn't really matter the amount, just kind of really do that to taste. And then I've got a spicy tomato sauce that I've made. And then I've got two different kinds of sausage. I've got a sweet Italian sausage, because that's the one that my kids like the best. And then I've got a spicy Italian sausage. And no real advice, no real advice on where you want to go get those, but if you have a butcher that you like and that you trust, go up there, they'll have them in the meat counter, pick out the ones that you like. Um, like I said, I tend to go more spicy. And then lastly, we've got a couple baguettes. And funny story about baguettes is my cousin in Brooklyn, New York actually owned a deli, and I like a really good crunchy French bread. Uh, and he always had this saying that said, when you bite into a sandwich, it should bite you back. So I've always thought that, and I like really hard, crunchy sandwiches. So basically what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna dump the onions and the peppers into the oil. And we're gonna get those going. And then I'm gonna show you how I, uh, how I chop the onion and how I chop the pepper. So you've already cut it in half, you've already taken the ends off and you've taken the peel off. And then you just wanna thinly slice And then for this application, you just want to break up those different layers of the onion. And then with the pepper, you actually cut off the top, move that to the side, and inside, you just take that middle part there, take that out. And that'll leave what they call the ribs. So at that point, you cut off the bottom. And then I like to cut it into thirds this way. Just makes it a little bit easier to julienne. And then you gotta be careful when you're doing this. You always wanna work the blade away from your hand, but you wanna cut those ribs off. I'll do another one for you. Then, you just cut it thinly, long ways. And add those to the pan. And then I add my seasoning. And then I'm gonna to toss it around so we can get it coated nicely. Then we're gonna get the other pan going so we can get the sausage going. And we will throw a little bit more oil in there. Just a little bit, just so it doesn't stick. Get that going. And what you wanna do is you wanna put those in the pan, obviously flat side down. I like to straighten them up as much as possible because we're gonna turn them a few times. All right, we'll get those good, getting up good and hot. One of the things like when I was cutting or even when you're dealing with hot oil is you wanna make sure that you have plenty of safety when you're in the kitchen. And that just reminds me that as a firm, we believe that safety is the number one aspect to your retirement. So you wanna make sure that you have plenty of safety in your portfolio. And we use the rule of 100. And basically what that means is if you have a million dollars in your portfolio and you're 60 years old, you need to have $600,000 of that with a safety net underneath it. Meaning something that is absolutely safe from market risk. 
The other 400,000, you can have all the risk in the world that you want with it. And so if you're 70 years old, that'd be 700,000. Or if you're 50 years old, that would be 500,000. Now, if you're a little bit out of line, that's not necessarily a huge concern, but you don't want to get more than 10% away from that or your retirement may not go the way that you want it to. And that's my financial tip of the day. Now back to the yummy stuff. So you can hear that the pan's getting hot. And basically all we're gonna do is every couple minutes, we're gonna turn and just keep turning it. And you're gonna get a nice brown color on both sides. All right, as you can see, the sausage is browning up nicely. So basically what we're gonna to wanna to do at this point is get them to steam a little bit. And then we're gonna combine the two and we're gonna put them in a pan and then we're just gonna finish it in the oven. And it's just gonna turn out so good. It's a nice, rustic, savory dish. Um, just some real good comfort food on one of those cold, chilly nights or something like that. So let me grab some water. And at that point, you just want to lower the heat down. All right, so the peppers and onions, they're pretty happy right now. So they're, they're, they're right about where we would want to go ahead and transfer them to a pan, and then we're going to transfer them to the oven. So I'll grab my pan, and then I want to add, and like I said, I made a spicy tomato sauce. It doesn't have to be spicy if you don't want it to, but we tend to like to spice things up around our part. So just put that in. That's about, I'd say a cup, cup and a half of tomato sauce. Mix that up. Incorporate that all in. We're just going to pour that into our pan. And then I want to turn off the burner on the sausage as well. And we're going we're gonna to do what they call slicing it on the bias. And what the bias is, is it's just a fancy word for saying you're just going to slice it at an angle. It allows for more surface area, which will allow for the sauce from the peppers and the onions and then the bread. It'll make it an easier sandwich for you to eat. So you just take the, take the sausage, slice it at an angle, and come through. Now don't worry if it's not cooked all the way through right now, because when it goes in the oven, then, it, then it'll cook all the way through. And this actually, by slicing it, it'll allow for that to be done quicker for you. All right. So I put the oven on 400. I'm just mixing that up just a little bit just to kind of get some of that gravy going. And then uh, we're gonna put that in the oven at 400. And really it's just till the sausage is cooked through and then it's good to go. So I'm gonna guess about 10 to 12 minutes and then we'll go from there. By now, the sausage and the peppers and the onions, they're all done, so what we're gonna do is gonna grab them out of the oven, we'll come over here, we'll put them on a sandwich, and we'll wrap a bow on this thing. Man, it smells amazing. Just grab a couple pieces of sausage, and it's gonna be messy, but that's okay. Some peppers. And there you have it, sausage, peppers, and onions, a family tradition from my family to yours. If you have any questions at all, email us at info at swdgroup.com. And until next time, I'm Rob D'Alessio, and this is A Taste of Retirement.